What's going on everyone? My name is Sherwin and in this video we are headed to Las Vegas uh, for a wedding uh, that we're going to be attending and we'll be taking our Model X. We got it back from service. If you haven't checked out the latest service video, please check that out. Our steering rack was replaced. Uh, but we are starting at about 77% state of charge but with so many things to do before we could even begin the trip. Uh, if you want to just skip through all that stuff, I have uh, chapter markers in the description below. Uh, but we're going to have to go pick up some friends and we're going to need to go to the mall because Abby's dress that she picked out, they forgot to remove the tags. And then we may stop by the service center uh, because I mentioned in the previous video, uh, the service video, the one of the doors. The, uh, it's just malfunction, not malfunctioning, but it's stuck on um, calibration mode and they tried to do it, uh, they walked me through it, but it didn't work. So uh, I don't think it's a safety issue. So if we run out of time, we may not even go, but we're gonna check. So I'm talking real fast because we gotta get going. Okay, so we are here at our first stop. Um, we have to stop by Macy's because as I mentioned before, they forgot to uh, remove the, the security tags. The, on Abby's dress that she's gonna wear for the wedding. No, she's not part of the flash mob <laughs> That jacked this place um, But yeah, so hopefully we can get out of here quick and see if we have time to stop by at the service center um, To take care of that calibration error and hopefully nothing else goes wrong uh, we're also waiting for our friends to um, be available so we could go pick them up and we're gonna go from there so the time we don't have that much time I'm not gonna bring it into service because something else might break I spoke with one of the reps um, over the phone and they said that they don't believe it's a safety related thing so the only thing is inconvenience so we're just gonna take the trip with one less door that's functioning <laughs> this is crazy um, but we're gonna have lunch we're gonna get some corn dog here and um, hopefully start our trip soon. All right, so we are at um, Chichai and Christine's house. They will be going with us to Vegas. Um, and so I figured I'm gonna plug in <laughs> and leech off of his electricity. He has a uh, 1450 plug and it looks like it's doing about seven kilowatts at 32 amps. Um, so that's the difference between using a Tesla wall charger and uh, a regular 1450 plug. We are about to start taking off uh, on our little trip. It's already traffic, but we're gonna make the best of it and uh, stay cool because it's warm and we still got lots to do on the way there. So let's go. Uh, okay, we are at the newer Yermo supercharging area. There's a couple of uh, a couple of uh, charging stations that are um, out of order, but um, there's actually a lot more people using this place now. And it's like 103 degrees. So we're gonna hang out here for a few minutes. I didn't really have to charge. I think we're at 43% state of charge, but um, I'm trying to prepare for how busy Vegas is gonna be because there's a lot of construction going on. And the usual charging stations that we go to are uh, probably gonna be hard to get to especially the link one the link is near that sphere and so I don't want to go there so uh, we'll see how far or how much we're gonna charge here and then uh, continue on all right we are here at state line I think we're at 44% state of charge and it's sprinkling a little bit uh, so we don't need to stop once again because we would have hit the hotel at around 28% but as I mentioned before, I'm not too sure how bad traffic is going to be around Vegas. I hate driving around Vegas. And keep in mind, we do lose about 7% state of charge uh, nightly and we'll be in Vegas for about two nights. So I'm trying to plan ahead to lose about 14 to 16% while we are parked. And so at 28%, uh, we would lose uh, 14 to 16%. So we're close to like 10%. No, I don't want to take that risk. So I'm just walking around and um, waiting to charge. These are 250 kilowatt um, speeds. 
We are here at Prim Valley Resort and Casino. We are here in Vegas. The hurricane is here. Hurricane Hillary or something. It's very windy, wet, uh, but the rain has stopped and we had to stop at uh, Max's. If you've seen our other Vegas videos, when we found out that Max, there's a Max location here, we have to come. So we just arrived in Vegas. We're gonna pick up some food to bring back to the hotel. We're gonna check in. Uh, we will be at Vidara, so they have a little kitchen area there as well. And um, yeah, so we're in Vegas. All right, so we are here in Vidara and we're gonna see if we get some room upgrades. We got some food. Hungry, tired, wet. It's raining here. And let's go see what else is in store for us. Hopefully we get some upgrades. We arrived at Vidara around 7 p.m. The Model X state of charge is 72%. We had our rooms until Monday, just in case we wanted to stay longer. I can't remember what the room is called, but it has a king bed and a sofa bed. I think that's what it's called. It has a full-size fridge, a kitchen with stove and dining table, washer and dryer, and a living room where the sofa bed is. The view is not facing the Strip or Bellagio Fountains. It's facing the south side. We can see Allegiant Stadium. I think Blackpink was performing that weekend. I don't know who that is. It's the second time I've heard of that name. First time was Coachella earlier this year because some nephews and nieces were attending to watch them. So we are headed to Bellagio from Vidara and there is a walkway that they recently um, redesigned. So it was closed for a good few months and it was very inconvenient because while we were staying at Vidara, there's just a quick walkway that you could cut through to go to Bellagio and it's very convenient. And now they've reopened it and it looks really cool. And now we're headed to Bellagio to go check out the conservatory and I think it's a new season so they probably have a new display so we are at the conservatory and they got a new display here I think is this a new display I don't even remember anymore uh, I was wrong uh, it's not it's not the new display this was the same one if you haven't checked out our Vegas trip with the uh, SoCal EVs I think this was the same uh, same decorations, but I'll record it anyway. It looks smaller because I think they removed the uh, the middle archway. I don't see the middle archway, so but it's still nice. It's still nice. Don't get me wrong. We initially had planned to eat at Earl of Sandwiches in Planet Hollywood, but decided to go to Italy at Park MGM instead. Rather than go back to Vidara and cut through Aria, we walked the strip. I got to play with the GoPro 11 more and must say the stabilization on this thing is really nice. This is becoming a favorite secondary camera. I used to use my iPhone 14 Pro Max, but we'll probably be using the GoPro more instead. I haven't been using my wireless mic with it, so apologies for the sound quality on some footage. Anyway, you will notice the cloudy weather. It has been raining off and on. Weather is great. It wasn't hot. The walk on the strip was quite pleasant. 
I can't wait to order fried mushroom of the whatever. <laughs> it's my favorite in Italy. I don't remember the name. I just eat the darn thing. We ordered different things. As I mentioned in previous videos before, buy your drinks from the bottom floor stores and not where you order food. It's like three times the price up there. While eating, we watched the wedding ceremony of our friends Doc Alan and Sis Sarah. They were streaming it on Facebook Live. We will be catching up with them later on at the reception. By the power vested in me, by the wonderful state of Nevada, I am very happy to pronounce you husband and wife in your beautiful bride. <laughs> The reception was held at Galpao Gacho Brazilian Steakhouse. This place is all you can eat meats with a salad bar. You may recognize some familiar characters here from previous videos and some in future videos. Pretty much most of the group of friends are driving an EV. I'm still working on getting them on my EV confession series. By the way, are you liking that series? Let me know in the comments below. Doc Allen remembered about my jacket, how I bought it years ago and now I get to wear it for the first time without tags on his wedding day. A great occasion to wear my jacket for the first time. I clean up pretty well, don't I? <laughs> Bro Rafi was requested to play and sing during the bride and groom's first dance. He was in an episode of Evie Confessions. I'm telling you, he can play and sing. I had to mute it though so I won't get flagged by YouTube. He played and sang Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud. He's on Instagram. I'll link his account below. The night was still young, so we headed to Palazzo and Venetian. One of our friends was staying here, so we just hung out. We got some ice cream and coffee. So we are checking out now. We're waiting for the car. Uh, the Hurricane Hillary thing is on its way, so but we haven't had breakfast yet. So hopefully everything goes well. Um, and we're gonna get breakfast and we're gonna start heading home. All right, so we are back near Red Rock uh, from the Tesla EV Vegas run. I love this place because of that Einstein bagels. I'm gonna have some more bagels. All right, so we are here at Red Rock Casino. I didn't know there was a supercharging station. When we were here at the, the Tesla run, the EV run, I didn't see it on the map, so this might be new. But uh, this is a fast charging uh, 250 kilowatt. So we're gonna hang out here. Hopefully I can push it to 100%. That way we don't have to stop till maybe Barstow. But we'll see if I get bored. Um, but we got some donuts. We're gonna be eating it. And I'm gonna actually try to check out this place. I've never been inside.
This place has many different things. Their food court has a good selection. Wingstop, Rubio's, Panda Express. They even have a movie theater, an arcade, and a bowling alley. Their Starbucks even closes late. I don't get why coffee shops close so early. Even in Vegas, don't they want people to stay awake and continue to gamble? We took the scenic route back onto the freeway through Red Rock Canyon. There's no avoiding the storm anyway. I charged up to 98%. Good thing too. So we are having a little bit of issues. Um, right after Baker, we had a lot of crosswind. I think it felt like 50 to 60 miles an hour. But luckily we charged at Red Rock uh, to 98% because the plan was to stop at Yermo uh, at the new supercharger, no power. Went to Eddie World Yermo, no power. So there's people there that are wondering what's going on. The gas stations, no power. So you can't say, oh, that's what you get for EVs. Look, if EVs can't charge, no electricity, you can't pump gas either. So no gas for you either. So, um, but yeah, Barstow has some road closures. So we're trying to take detours. We're okay. Um, it looks like we were gonna go get home around 6% that I'm not taking that chance because of all the detours and the traffic So we found a supercharger here somewhere in Barstow near the 40 freeway because normally we take the 15 freeway and um, So we found like a 72 kilowatt uh, supercharger and it's 47 cents per kilowatt the price is pretty expensive, but um, we were at 31% state of charge, so we're gonna try to get up to maybe 40 or 50% just to give us some um, some extra energy and Then we're gonna start heading back on the road, but uh, uh, there's a lot of traffic and Let's see what happens. We are in Barstow Supercharger we were stuck in the northern part of Barstow for over an hour because it's, it's so traffic they closed down the 15 and we're charging I gotta go pee so oh my god the weather is bad and it doesn't help with some of the superchargers are oh man and the door here is closed oh my god okay ended up going to the hotel by the supercharging station to go <laughs> use the bathroom because the door on the side of where the supercharger is to the outlet is already locked so but thankfully it's 250 kilowatt and the charging yeah, is fast so we're almost done here we're gonna start heading back to the road man this weather sucks very unpredictable but you gotta always be prepared good thing i charged high before we left uh red rock Going home took seven and a half hours or so when it normally takes about four hours including charging stops But the breakdown of the trip is pretty much total cost sixty four dollars and fifty one cents Five charging stops total miles driven is five hundred and twenty two total kilowatt hours used is hundred and eighty seven kilowatt hours 358 watt hour per mile 36 cents uh, average cost per kilowatt hour and total time at the charger is two hours and eight minutes with an average uh, time at supercharging stations roughly 25 minutes and 36 seconds these are not the actual cost but if we were to take the average uh, cost per kilowatt hour multiply it by the kilowatt hour used so 36 cents times 187 would equal to about 67 dollars and 32 cents Here's a comparison between this current trip and our last trip with Tesla Club SoCal and SoCal EV to Vegas. Uh, you may notice it's a little bit more expensive. 
and that the miles driven is more because we had to run errands. Now, the cost difference, I think, is because we did start at a lower state of charge. Normally, we leave above 90%, like 95, 96%. But this time around, I think we were at like 77%. So that is gonna make the, the price go up a little bit on supercharging, but not by much. So when we were picking up the Model X from the valet, the guy tried to open the door and I said, hey, that doesn't work. And he's like, oh, okay, well, we noticed that a lot on these Model Xs. I'm like, what? It's really common. As for the storm, this is the first time I've ever used the rear fog lights. The Model X comes with front and rear fog lights. Regardless of how well the Tesla supercharging network is, I still stop and charge even though it's unnecessary for several reasons. Um, I just like to break up the trip. I like to explore the area and there's maybe issues at the next charging station so it gives me a little bit of a buffer and sometimes there's particular reasons why we stop at certain charging stations like for instance uh, over there in Yermo at Eddie World we like the beef jerky so we might as well stop and charge and get the beef jerky as mentioned in the video I would have been home at like 6% state of charge but that's just way too close and it looks like it was accounting for detours and traffic, but I'm not gonna <laughs> roll that dice. We started to joke about turning off like the rear fog lights, the radio, the HVAC, <laughs> the wipers. And then uh, Chicha was like, we gotta turn off those ventilated seats. And I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh, that's, that's where we draw the line. We're not turning off the ventilated seats. <laughs> So we were far from being stranded, but at 31% state of charge when we found a charger, it was slow and inexpensive, but I was getting a little nervous, but not too nervous. Uh, but it was the first time we were ever put in that situation, that's why. So maybe I'm just not used to it. I'm sure we could have made it to the new Barstow location, but the two Yermo stations were unavailable due to a power outage, but also all gas stations in that area were also not available. You can't pump gas without electricity. And you may think that they have a generator, but apparently those gas stations don't. So when we reached the Barstow uh, outlets where the charging stations were, the gas station in that surrounding area was just really packed because people were trying to get gas because they couldn't get gas in the previous cities. That's it for this video. Just want to say congratulations to Doc Alan and Sis Sarah on their wedding. If you haven't seen the video on the Tesla mobile service, them coming out and fixing some things on the Model X, please go check that out. If you like the video, please like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.